Hi, let us introduce our all new custom labels uh, actionable component. So if you want to use custom labels for translations purposes, for instance, and you want to use them in your documents, this is not a problem anymore. You can use our uh, custom labels components right out of the box. How does it work? First, of course, we have our actionable which you can uh, use from our custom labels components. Just install the components. It's open source. Um, get back to support at pdfbetter.com to get the components. And then you can create the actionable. The actionable is very uh, straightforward. And you just have to identify which is the category of your custom label. And that, of course, is this category over here. So you have to make sure that uh, all your labels are in the same category or you have to create multiple actionables to get the custom labels in the different categories. And next up is, of course, yeah, your data source. So all the data that you want to process has to be put into a data source. So we have here our custom labels data source and this the, the actual data source is actually a key value data source means that PDF Butter will not populate the data source immediately. It will actually uh, expect that there is some actionable that will populate the data source. And in this case, it's the get custom labels actionable. Okay, so that's the actionable, that's the data source. Now, uh, we of course have also a doc config. In the doc config, uh, we have uh, added the actionable as you can see here. You can also do that on a pack. That's not a problem. It works in this exactly the same way. We have our data source linked to our doc config. This uh, will go automatically when you do that via the configuration screen. And if you take a look at the configuration screen, it's actually that simple. So we have added our data source custom labels as you can see here. And the custom data source is just like a single data source that you can process. The only unfortunate thing here is we cannot know which fields you are actually pushing into the data source. So you will have to add your fields here manually from the uh, custom actions, custom labels that you want to use. For instance, if you want, if I want to use the Butler format as well, okay, I can just say, well, I also want to use this, uh, um, this field here. It's going to be the name of the fields. The name of the custom label is going to be the name of the field. That's how our component is set up. Okay, so uh, we have defined our uh, custom labels. Now, next up is, of course, a very simple single uh, config type that will use the custom labels data source. We'll uh, put it into a merge field. This is how easy it is. These fields are, of course, the fields we have just identified. So that's how easy it is to create, uh, to use this data, these labels, once they are put into the data source. How does it work? Well, uh, you just click the button. It will now fetch all of the custom labels. It will actually use those custom labels, push it to PDF Butler. And as you can see here, these uh, are the custom label names that are actually used. So we see from our uh, configuration here that we are using, and I will just remove that one. We are using the Butler actions, the alternative and the select files. And if you can see the actions says actions, the alternative says alternative name. And this is exactly what's on the, uh, on the document. And uh, the select files is of course also there. That's the one over here. So, that does it um, out of the box for the language. How does it work? It will actually select the language of uh, the, that is specified via our PDF Butter component, or when you call it from Apex or from any other uh, process builder, you can specify the uh, um, the locale of the uh, the customer or the user. When there is no locale set, it will automatically take the locale of the user. So you will always know perfectly which uh, locale to use. So when there is none set, it will take the locale of the user. You can find that on the user settings. So I go to my user details and here I will see that my locale is currently set um, to, let me see where to find that, to English United States. So that's a, a locale of ANUS. So if you want to switch this to French or to Dutch or to German, that's all possible. And then in the uh, component will use that one. Again, uh, when you override that with uh, the locale that is from uh, from your customer, uh, then you, it will of course use the locale of your customer. 
instead of the local of the user. Okay, that's it.